my choice. Could have had a day off in between, but I was like, nah, don't worry about it. It's fine. Nah, I need the money. Nah, who needs that breaks, my man? We got money in this capitalist society. <laughs> All right, we are up and good for Monday morning D and D. Hello, everybody. Today's gonna be a quick session as we uh, just make sure we're having fun and Cammy uh, has to get going eventually. So we're gonna make sure we get going and have fun today. Ain't that right, boys? Woo! Yep. All right. Yeah. So, last time, you guys, just to recap, since it has been a minute, you guys were facing a wyvern, or technically the uh, helping and aiding a town under the attack of a wyvern. Last time, you guys went and uh, faced kobolds, um, old mayor men who were just trying to get help, and, uh, let's see, dragonborn, I think, every now and then. Um, other than that, what do you guys remember before we get going? Um, I do remember that we had, uh, arrived at the town and we had basically fought a little tiny little goblin, little looking guys. And after we got some information from a dragonborn, uh, we managed to figure out the name of the dragon that's controlling the wyvern. And with that, we had finally met with our contact, who was a dragon herself. And we managed to get a weapon that would infinitely help with slaying the dragon. Amazing, amazing. Other than that, uh, little details would be, like, of course, like the little fireworks for taking down the wall. And uh, several little things like the crashed ship that... Corvus and uh, Rocco are currently going towards in order to maybe either check out cannons or uh, corpses or even just see if there's any survivors or anyone to help. Uh, besides that, I believe we ended with Amleth Yu coming from the uh, that chat with the dragon as Rocco, you walked into the tavern. So let me go get some nice tavern music going. Um, did I, I forget, did I give you guys the name of the tavern before? Don't think so. Okay. Let me pull that up then, because I believe I did give it a name, so just, so I can keep it consistent when I'm naming it, let me look what it was. It was... The Shy Shellfish. So... The Shy Shellfish is a, uh, near the kind of mid-center to, uh, upper coastline of the town. It's not super big, not super small, but as you're walking up Rocco, you do see that the Shy Shellfish has a ginormous, um, well, clam on it. I, I don't know really what else to say about it than a shellfish. A ginormous clam on top of it that uh, appears to open and close with a semi, kind of clockwork, semi-mechanical um, setup. And inside is a very clearly fake, you know, like golden uh, pearl to kind of show off. It's it's so very almost low-key tacky at times, but the whole thing gives an air of a... Of a, uh, a sea faring town with uh, different sorts of um, celebratory posters all over the actual tavern itself, like the local drinking contest, etc., etc. Coming in two weeks! Ha <laughs> ha! Um, and as you walk in, you do hear the uh, mighty music kicking up. What would you like to do, Rocco? What was that last detail? Oh, uh, as you enter, you do see the mighty music, uh, or hear the mighty music kicking up from inside. It seems very, uh, rapture, not rapturous, um, very upbeat and excited within the tavern. Alright, I'm gonna walk in, walk to the bar, and, uh, order a, a stiff one. As you, uh... Walk on up. There are two people at the actual bar. It appears uh, you can't really get any vibes for who's the head bar 
bartender or not. There's just two bartenders. A uh, tabaxi, nice long slender, uh, sort of buff for a tabaxi. And then a, uh, not a half orc, but a full orc, which is a bit more of a rare sight. A full orc sitting there uh, at the bar. Who do you ask for a drink from? These people are behind the bar? Yeah, these are bartenders. Uh, the tabaxi. The tabaxi. Ah, hello there. How can I uh, assist you, my fine customer? Need a uh, strong one. Kind of got... Kind of having a bad day today. Oh, I'm so very sorry to hear that. Indeed, let me bring you a cold ale. As he uh, turns around and grabs a spigot, you see they have giant ice packs like on top of it. There's, um, as a magic user, I would say you would notice very faintly right below where the ice is, a ruin carved into a little ice tray that is like a preservation ruin. They keep them nice and ice cold all year round. And as it slides to you, you can feel the nice, cold, uh, let's see, freshness, the refreshing uh, vibe of it. The smell is good. It's a very um, honey, kind of a uh, honey and maybe clover kind of beer. This is a local specialty. Please enjoy. Thank you. I, uh, I take a, a big sip. I, I don't take a sip. I just start gulping it down, just... Hold it up. It's that awkward long moment of I'm just sitting there just chugging this fucking thing down. <laughs> and then I finish it and I put it down on the table with a thump. And I say, can I have another one? So it's a uh, it's a very fun scene where the bartender happens to turn around to go clean a glass. And it's like, yeah, don't worry about it. That one's on the house. You're having a bad day. I want to make sure you're having a good day. And as he turns around, you slam it down. Can I have another Oh, all right, we're going to have to pay for the second one, though. So here, uh, that will be a one copper. I uh, drop two copper on the table. He takes one copper and slides the other. I said the first one's on the house, my man, please. This one's a tip. Ah, well, okay. He tosses it into a jar. That's uh, kind of down the... Oh, I know. It's still a fucking jar. What's better is that he tosses it, slides it down... Um, or flicks it down the counter, it rolls down the counter using uh, you know, the kind of normal coin rolling, and it rolls into this fancy little um, tip jar that has uh, little rails on the side of it that lets the coins roll in, and as it rolls in, it slowly fills out the word thank you. We always appreciate then... good tips. And I'm going to walk in momentarily after... And I'm going to look at Rocco, and I'm going to say, Yeesh, you ready? I can't believe I got swarmed by kobolds. Fucking kobolds. Yeah, those things are a pain in the fucking ass. I, I, mm. I, I wish it was at least, like, something cool. Fucking kobolds. Uh, don't worry, <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> I, I turn to the tabaxi and I go, how long have you guys been having these issues with the wyvern and the kobolds? Uh... <laughs> excuse me. Oh, sorry. Whew, excuse me. Um, but, let me see. I would say... Hmm. Goodness, I... I feel like the like explosive nature of it, we've been dealing for like a week, maybe a week, of, like, the, the raids or such. But I've heard rumors of... Well, it kind of leans down. Uh, I don't know who's listening, so you're listening. You put, come in, come in, come down low, come down low. He, like, gestures for you guys to get low to him. Look, listen, all right? I don't know who's listening. But I, I personally, all right, have heard rumors that if you, uh... that the mayor has been having, like, spice from the wyvern coming for a while, causing trouble, you know, uh, kobold, uh, opening the gates or kobolds, uh, uh, um, you know, misdirecting gods, uh, f causing fake fires and stuff to make the guards get distracted so the kobolds can come in. I mean, like, they're, they're fucking kobolds, right? Like, how did they get away with so much of our shit last time? 
it's because it's because I think someone has been messing around the town, you know, for a lot longer than the, the than just the actual main, you know, attack attacks, the raids. So you think someone's sabotaging everything and helping the Cabalts and the Wyvern? Yes, yes. Whether it be, I don't know, a bigger kobold or like a, a smarter one. Or maybe a, uh, what, let's see. Are there any other dragon, like, races? Let's see. Uh, half dragons, I suppose, maybe? Mm. Well, I mean, there was one. But he's not really in the picture right now. Plus, I got all the information I could get from him. Uh, they kind of like lightly taps the uh, the counter kind of excitedly. Ah, see, that's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm telling you. There is something going on in this town besides just the wyvern attacks. Because don't get so, me wrong, it's a wyvern. But the kobolds, everything else, like the wyvern itself isn't enough. There's something else. Mm -hmm. So what does this dragonborn look like that you're talking about? I don't know. Like I said, I was I was theorizing. That's why I asked uh, what other type of things, uh, races. Mm. I would say though, is because uh, remember these are just rumors. Uh, that's why I do. You know, it kind of taps the bar again. I'm a bartender. I listen to rumors. I listen to conjecture. You know, uh, people's opinions. So I suppose I could tell you that I have heard. Of uh, some people complaining of, uh... <sighs> Alright, well, if you go near the docks, the pirates are rude and crude, and there's a dragonborn there that some people don't like. His name is, uh... Danthiels or something like that? I don't know. It's a stupid name that sounds like Daniels. Probably some dragon fucking name. But, uh, mm -hmm. let's see. Other than that, people have been saying... Away from the docks, actually, the exact opposite within the actual town itself. Uh, kind of, if you look on the map on Roll Twenty over here, ish, in the actual town itself, because um, you're, you're, you know, we're a bit more over here, you know, uh, amongst the outer city and the outer walls, kind of like a Attack on Titan, the outer walls. This is more the center wall with like the political buildings, the hospital, etc. Right, more defended. Um, hey, uh, I hate to cut your flow off here, but I don't see anything in Roll20 besides a black screen. Yeah. You don't. Oh, sh nope. shit. Let me refresh. Yeah. Again. We had this problem last time. We did. Yeah. Let I'm, me refresh. I'm just, I'm just using your Twitch. Uh, while we're, while you're trying to fix that, um, kind of some things I wanted to go over we're looking for, like, uh, Captain Sparrock. He's a pirate Kenku who might help us with cannons. Um, mm -hmm. And then we can only trust Tridents and Tabaxi because the Dragonborns can disguise as the other races. So, um, I know you can trust this bartender. So, elves exactly. and humans. Elves and humans are the ones that we need to worry about, considering our info. There were, like, four of them that we're looking for, right? Um, I only have... I only have three descriptions written down. I don't know what the fourth one is. Mm -hmm. I'm currently going over to a, a Merite ship. So that's going to be fun. Yes. As you guys are talking and discussing... Um, okay, by the way, can you see it yet? Nope. Nope. Jeez, what the fuck? Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can... Okay, I have it's one... It's not like Bog of War or something like that, right? I don't think no. so because I would I would be able to manually see it myself and clear it too. So let me see if I can just like put the map over it itself again. Hold on, let me just pull it up on the right side here. Uh, um, I'd say go to your top right where the little settings option is. Yeah. And then just kind of scroll through that and see if there's anything that's like selected already. Graphic. Yep, still nothing. Still nothing. Fucking yeah. video display. Names only. Bottom. Uh, nothing that would be messing with you guys. Mm. Shit. All right, are you guys okay? Just go for right now. I'll fix it or try to fix it um, by next week. You guys just going to okay? Going over the Twitch for now. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. I already got Twitch pulled up. Perfect. This is all a ploy to get more views. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ah, uh, yes. If only I was smart enough. <laughs> 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 but, um, as you guys are having this discussion with the tabaxi, way over by the shorelines, Corvus, you hear the waves crash, the smell of the salty, fresh air stings your nostrils as you go forward towards the uh, crash ship in the upper right corner. Uh, you're kind of hitting up these little rocks right below it um, with the, a little bit of a... Uh, on the map, it just shows like uh, like just crumbled walls, but as you're, you in character show up, you do see it was a small lighthouse, um, a very primitive lighthouse. Instead of the full, like, tall... Um, tower that's built with a light a powerful light going out to o the ocean it, w it looked like a magnified bonfire built around um a a almost a like a a stone fixture to kind of keep it there off the ground but it was nothing more than a giant joan joan stone uh stone and wood bonfire that would light up the uh only specifically the shoreline Instead of giving a massive light out and about. It's basically a less effective uh, lighthouse. It appears it has been destroyed through it. As you see, one of the masts from the ship has flown asunder and has crashed directly through this. Peeing upwards through the building. Um, inside, so far, I would say, you just so you know, you do not hear any, like, helps, no cries. Just the crush whoosh of the waves. Would you like to investigate the uh, crumbled building or the ship first? Uh, let's investigate the crumbled building. Alright. Uh, as you investigate the crumbled building, you still just hear that whoosh of sounds of the waves. But as you enter the building, it becomes a little bit more distant, echoey, as you start to hear a much louder whoop, 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 whoop of the ropes and the tarp from the mast being whipped around by the shoreline winds uh inside you do see the so it's like um and i don't know if you happen to know them in theater there is a uh a audience structure called the three quarters thrust uh, it's basically where like the 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 stage is in the center. The audience is wrapped around only three quarters, leaving one side open. So one wall is open, exposing the flames. While the other three were supposed to kind of protect the bonfire. So as you enter, you immediately are greeted by the ocean water. Yeah, again being uh, on the other side of you, uh, open. But you do see a half-built bonfire before you. Uh, crashed over because of the mast, you know, crashing through the building. But still plenty of logs and wood as if someone was about to light a bonfire. Uh, to the right and left looks to be piles of wood, flint, and several other lighting material. Uh, then also a small desk with a, uh, looks like to be a ledger and a, a map of the town. Uh, a very small map, very crudely drawn, but a map nevertheless. I guess we we'll grab that map. Wait, is it grabbable? Yeah, you grab it, and it's just a small map of the town. Exactly like the one you guys can see on Twitch here, um, including all the buildings, etc., except... Maybe the details of like the docks and some of the smaller like bushes, buildings, etc. It's a, a crude kind of uh, map that draws the city itself as like one big amalgamation. So that little section with all the walls, instead of it being individual buildings, it just draws the section with the walls and fills it in. Uh, it basically just labels the main, main town, side town, um, port, ship, lighthouse, um... The bottom mansion area, it labels as Richie McGickie's. Uh, there's a left area over here just labeled Outcasts. And on the right, it's just labeled a, a Abandoned Mansion. And that's on the bottom. On the top, to the right of the ship, 
you might see a small building there uh, that is labeled as the Sailors um, Sa Sailors Resort, but it's uh, that is in air quotes. Uh, you don't know if that's the actual name or if that's the name that the person who wrote this map gave it. Interesting. Interesting. Can I tell who, by what kind of hand this map was made by? If you want to give me maybe an investigation or intelligence check, sure, you can try. A nice 13. 13. Alright, um, what specifically... Alright, I'm going to give you, for that roll, one... One detail you might be able to pull from this. So what what are you looking for? Like uh, race, culture... You can't really tell race from handwriting. So culture, age maybe, location that they're from. Uh, uh, culture, since draconic beings like Kobo would have a very much difficult to compare to humans and those other humanoids. Okay. Uh, it looks to be of local culture. Sailor... Rough written, uh, maybe not as knowledgeable as maybe Dragon Kind is to literature and stuff like that. Uh, it looks to be maybe just human or tabaxi culture, uh, as the way the writing does cut off is a very, very similar to Choltian of what you've seen Choltian get broken up to. Uh, it looks like a half Cholt, half common kind of writing uh, style. So you might be able to assume it's either tabaxi or lizard folk. Oh, nice. Well, at least I don't know this isn't... Or at least most likely it isn't a map meant for a cobal or another draconic being. So... I guess with that, I'm going to the ship. God is probably haunted. Perfect timing. As you hear... As you're lifting up the map, you hear... So you think, as the thought goes, I should probably go to this ship now. You also hear, Ah! In fact, Amleth, would you mind giving me your best, Ah? Ah! There we go, you hear that, Ah! From the outside. It sounds just like Amleth. Amleth, is that you? You go outside. You don't see Amleth. You face the ship. You see, you see a um, the hand and upper body of Amleth get pulled over the topwards bow and rail and over the side of the ship. You then also now hear a voice of what sounds like Rocco from within the ship. Rocco, would you mind giving me a help, Corvus? Corvus, help me! Help me! Nah. Now, Corvus, right. last they you got seen, Yeah, last you heard Corvus, they were in town. Huh. Either they got kidnapped or that's a trap. There is no in between. Help me, Corvus! Help me! Okay, it's definitely a trap. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you look at the ship, it is a massive two-decker ship um it is uh, a sloop yes yes yeah, i think that's the quick term. Well, a sloop is like um the basic i would say this is at least uh a, a not a brig that's the the jail frigate frigate yes a frigate this is definitely not a man of war those things are fucking huge no this is massive this is yeah a man a man of war uh cannons at least double deck two mast initially with uh, it's a, a relatively small frigate. Um, as your you should be able to see on uh, Twitch, I've switched to a more zoomed in version of the ship. Uh, now, as you're looking at this ship, it is broken asunder. Two parts of it um, are split in half. One of it submerged beneath the waves. Uh, broken in half, it looks like almost by giant claw marks. 
and you can see the front half uh, still, you know, over the sea, but being ever so slightly pulled back into the sea as the sands beneath it seem to be um, whittling away from the water. Uh, on the top bow, the kind of uh, front of the ship here, is where you saw Amleth get, air quote, pulled over. Um, where, what would you like to do, Corvus? Would you like to approach the still put together section or go around it? What would you like to do? So, this is most likely a trap. There's like no essential buts because he would know the they used to be in town and it takes a while to get over here from the town. I'm probably going to go into the water under the water since I don't need to breathe. Ah. And sneak around. Okay, so um, do you take all your equipment? Because remember, you do have heavy things that would make going in water harder. I'm so just going to bring my sword, my seal gauntlets, and my. Well, I don't need to say I bring my sword. My sword's in its pocket dimension right now. Fair enough. So, I like to imagine you, like, toss your backpack to the side, you got your shield gauntlets, you got your sword, you look at your armor, your, uh, and you're like, okay, I'm not gonna take the armor off, I need that. You look at your backpack, you're like, alright, that's heavy enough, you leave your backpack behind. Leave the flamethrower as well. Yeah, the flamethrower, firework bullshit to the side, all that heavy shit. Um, so all you got is that. Okay, so just so if you end up swimming, I know what you have for the difficulty check. Okay, so just armor... Sword that's not even there, so that's not going to be as hard. And the gauntlets that transform, so it's easier to. It's not a full shield. Okay, so you, as you enter the water, very mm, sneakily, I would say. Go ahead, and do you want to roll a stealth check? Or are you just... Is, are you trying to stealth, or are you just happening to be moving in a specific way, not directly approaching uh, it? Stealth, Yeah. Okay, roll me a stealth check. Uh, I would say with advantage because of your current des decisions. Oh, it's got an old mouse. A nice 23. Alright, so... You get your uh, Vietnam War flashbacks in this game as... Let me let me go change it to some nice uh, ocean side music. Hold on, uh, ocean side battle music. Okay, here we go. I I do not want a sea monster. Did that say? Battle. Did that say seaside rap battle? Yes. I was trying not to laugh at it myself, but now that you mentioned it, yes. Yes, 100 fucking percent, dude. I don't know what that means, but I want to check it out later after set stream. <laughs> um, so as you're entering the water, you start swimming. That cool, salty taste uh, invades your senses as you start to go... Th through the foam of the water. Every now and then you cut your hand or something on a, a rock. It's a light cut, a scrape maybe, even a scratch at most. No blood is drawn. As you go through the, uh, towards the back of the boat, you can see within the boat is a bunch of corpses. Um, the corpses are lined up, uh, and th this is in the above ground area. The corpses are all lined up as if they're having a party, a drinking time, um, a celebration of life and 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 uh, some kind of success. But you see, several of them are missing, like their heads. One of them is missing a fucking arm. Um, one of them it looks to be not completely skeletalized, but definitely a lot, a large portions of his body seem to be skeletal, as he has been eaten or devoured and then you see um cheering and toasting each other appears to be corvus that corvus um rocco and amleth standing completely still made of cheers Of 
for something. <laughs> you do hear that, but their vo their their uh, mouths do not move. Oh, nice! That's definitely a trap. That's definitely a losing. I'm probably gonna, you know, spend a, at least a minute, minute just looking around without outing myself. You know, for reasons. Smart, smart. You know what, for a stealth one, this is a little too upbeat. I like, let me see. Ooh, ooh, here we go. Give me Mission Impossible, come on. You know what, I'm gonna do stealth music. There you go, stealth music. Who needs Oceanside? Stealth water music. Let's see. Yeah, 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 yeah. wet work stealth music. Okay, so as you're stealthing, Corvus, you can see several things. On the upper deck, you see what looks to be claw marks, scratches all along it. This is not from a giant wyvern. This is whatever got into the ship after everything else has gone to shit. This is not something native to these waters. You can tell by the claw marks, which has looks almost like a hand or a tentacle with a cylindrical shape, but five claws around the cylinder. Almost like maybe a leech in a way, but instead of the teeth marks of the leech, giant claw marks itself scraping along the top part of the ship. Love it, Dan was some illusion casting leech monster thing. Alright. Alright. <laughs> what can, do I do from here? Yeah, you can either investigate the upper part of the ship by going, uh, because you're just like in the lower deck. There's still the mid deck and the actual top floor. Uh, which you can head up to, or you can go and turn around and enter the submerged one. Well, they clearly probably expected me to come from the land. Or what was here expecting me to do that? So, you know, I'm going to say fuck them and go investigate the submerged part. All right. Taking a, a deep breath, you submerge yourself fully and dive downwards towards the underwater section with the rickety old ship plastered into the rocks and the sand below. You swim down. The wood is still fresh. It's not. Uh, there's the only barnacles are from the very bottom of the ship. Uh, there's no like moss. Not moss. This fucking underwater algae. Uh, there's no allergy or seaweed or any kind of plant growth on the ship yet, as it's only been less, maybe less than a day or two. Um, as you do see, though, the ship itself, the exterior, is starting to get slimy and starting to get some of the uh, natural kind of minerals and stuff uh, caked on it. As you try to look around, there's no real easy entrance as it's pinned downwards. But there are a few portholes, which I could either enter, look inside, or just keep looking around. And I'm going to enter and look inside. Alright. As you go into your head into the porthole, you stick your head through. I'll, I'll say you just stick your head through first and look. Um, you look through, and you see what looks to be a captain's quarters through this porthole. It's on the upper side. Um, you see... Well, a captain, uh, he has a flintlock pistol pointed to his head. It looks like whatever was happening, he'd rather die than face it himself. Well, I didn't, damn, I didn't know black powder was a thing, you know? <laughs> so I guess I'm going to try to get into the captain's quarter to see if there's any papers that can be read because it's underwater. Ah, so you, uh, Clear the glass from the porthole, I'll say that, instead of breaking it. I, I doubt they're still intact. You just clear the glass. You enter, and, uh, you know, I'll say just because you pointed out, uh, would you like to investigate the uh, flintlock? Fuck yeah. 
So holding it, you do see that it is of a um, a Eastern uh, company. It's no, it's not from this continent. It has it. wonderful um, for Sorry, I was uh, having a hiccup. Uh, there was a frills and detailing, and you see a very fine gold leaf pattern along the barrel. It's uh called it's oh you hold it from the side and you see that the pistol comes from a company called tiger lily incorporated tiger lily incorporated what mm -hmm. is that there's a tiny insignia of a what looks to be a goblinoid giving a thumbs up is that a fairy tale reference <clears throat> no <laughs> God damn! <laughs> I don't get it, but okay. It's it's just a very slight reference, just a, uh, just, just to like a detail of the show. It's not even like a big detail. Um, it's one of the characters from the anime. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh. You can only do so much that's original in this world. So <laughs> you. Uh, you do look at the flintlock. It is soaked and waterlogged as all hell. Um, you don't even know if it would properly work as it's waterlogged and like the, the the wood itself being warped might break from the fucking explosion. But you could still take it even just for the looks or even trying to get repaired if you want. Yeah, I'm going to take it. Why well, you don't think I'm not going to take a pistol? Yeah, take the uh, make sure to uh, mark waterlogged flintlock. Uh, the waterlock part specifically, just so I know uh, it needs to be repaired. Uh, other than that, you do see... Uh, I mean, if you want, you can take the captain's uh, hat. He has a large captain's hat. There are... Uh, there is actually a chest full of... Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's it's going to be unlocked. Uh, moving around the, the office, you would also find a chest full of... Uh, you could easily peep inside and see papers somehow the chest has kept a bit of a vacuum seal over it so when you peeped it open water started piling in real quick you went, oh shit like really quickly uh closed it you you don't you, you you're like fuck 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 i think shit got wet in there but at least now you know that they're at least mostly dry so you assume keep it closed to try to keep that seal um from reopening so you know you have one sealed chest from of uh, documents and non-waterlogged documents. Um, it's a medium-sized chest that you can't fit through the porthole, but if you find another entrance, you might be able to bring it with you. Well, I guess I'm going to have to look for another entrance. There Here is go. one doorway within the actual captain's um, uh, office that leads to the rest of the ship. Uh, other than that, you do see several other cupboards and stuff. Uh, and also another window on the other side. It seems to lead to uh, the inner of the ship, not in out outwards of the ship. So would you like to look through? Or maybe go through the uh, cabinets? Or just go out the door? I'm going to look through the cabinets and then look through the uh, window. Alright. As you go through the cabinets, you find a lot of seafaring equipment like waxes seals for letters you find bottles uh you would find you know for letters and bottles uh you would find also so like, that's like the emergency ones you find a few of those you would also find extra rope maps um the maps are all waterlogged the fuck now um most of the papers are like having the ink dissipate and disappear from uh the the salty water uh you would find a slightly rusted cutlass uh it's just a normal like scimitar basically if you'd like to take the rusted scimitar if not that's uh good that's okay but you would also find a golden necklace um you don't know how much it's worth but it looks to be that the chain itself is a tentacle while the base of it is um looks to be a remodel of the ship it's so, like tentacles holding the ship that's not creepy at all 
Not whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Anyways, if that's everything I found, like, looking through the window now. All right. Uh, next to the window, you do see a painting of the captain. It looks like before he killed himself, he was a proud uh, tabaxi sailor. You see this crew all alongside him in the painting. They're all happy and smiling. You do see one of them, though, has on its face, uh, you can't even really tell their gender, but you can see on its face, it looks like an octopus. I'm sorry, they have a octopus on the face? Yes, as if it's latched onto their face. God fucking damn, that's creepy. That's definitely probably what caused some issues. So if I remember correctly, octopuses' mouths think are weird. Yeah, no, they're disgusting. But you look through, and uh, when you look through the porthole, you see nothing but an eye looking back at you. Oh! Suddenly, a tentacle shoots through the portal, stabbing you right in the eye. Fucking asshole! You grab your eye. Oh, fuck! You look around. The eye is gone. Looking through the porthole right. again, it's just the inside of the ship with tables, and you see what looks to be two more bodies floating. Yeah, this, that stuff what did... It's using this illusion. Fuck. All right. You feel a tap on your shoulder, Corvus. I'm sorry, the fuck? You feel a tap on your shoulder. That's going to cause a small panic and sword shield out. You dead. You turn around, sword and shield out. Nothing's there. Fucking ghost! Man, you're in a fun house of horrors, dude. Fuck you, get over here, stop tweaking. <laughs> stop tweaking, oh, I hate you guys. <laughs> like, I know you guys fuckers aren't here already. Those we guys cut... are fucking losers. Speaking he of that, we the... cut to Almuth <laughs> and Rocco having a drink and discussing, um, let me, hold on, let me go bring up another, hold on, let me pause the, the spooky music, let me go put on another youtube one with upbeat music with uh me and rocco are just like tap dancing on the fucking bar yeah you guys are at a bar it's upbeat it's nice it's fun um the <laughs> the bartender was like you know what before you, you're gonna help us why don't you enjoy and get back and relax rocco is you know definitely at the very least enjoying himself Amath, would you also uh, dance with him Oh. Hello. 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 Yeah, that was weird. Hi. What sorry. Did, did you hear what I said? No. Cut out. No. Oh, That's sorry. What... I said so. Almuth, would you also? So Rocco, I'm sure is uh, kicking a jig, but Almuth, would you like to join Rocco in uh, kind of just dancing with the the locals? Uh, I'm gonna just kick my feet up and I'm just gonna relax and just have a nice slow drink. Nice. The bartender talks um, to you, Amleth, very uh, just casually. So, uh, and just like ask about your life, etc. But Rocco, you're out on the dance floor. You got uh, a nice, uh, let's see, what what kind of lady would catch Rocco's attention? Ooh, uh... Uh... As your wife is, like, listening in from the other door. <laughs> Tabaxi. Alright. A nice, um, beautiful tabaxi with, I would say, maybe tabby colors and uh, a slight Scottish fold demeanor to the actual, like, cat styles. Uh, but she wears leather armor uh, she, but like loose leather armor with like a belly, uh, being exposed with, uh, very, I would say well taken care of fur. She, uh, dances in front of you 
And as you, uh, you're dancing, she moves in closer and asks, So, what brings you here, big guy? Oh, I'm here on business. I, uh, pointed some of my cuts on me. I kind of got attacked by the wyvern today. Ah, so you're one of our brave adventurers. She does a dip downwards, kind of a stripper style showing off her ass. Uh, ah, you're one of our brave adventurers helping us, huh? Join for kobolds, come on! That's supposed to be the wind. You know, I kind of like him a little bashful. Oh, you know, just uh, just doing my job. She gets a little um, bashful her herself. Oh, shucks, no. She puts her left paw on you. I think the work you're doing deserves a reward. She gives you a wink. I am I'm sure they're gonna... gonna be so pissed if you fade to black while I'm the haunted. I'm, I'm gonna just take a look at Rocco from across the room, and I'm just gonna look at the woman, and I'm just gonna do a big old perception check. Go ahead and give me a big old perception check. <laughs> and just make sure that she's not trying anything funny. <laughs> Banning in-game action, spooking Corvus. <laughs> uh, that's a solid 22. That's, that's a solid number. Um, <laughs> I would say, let me see. A paranoid motherfucker. So you're not doing anything with like magic, right? You're just doing like a base look over her. I'm just, well, I'm just looking and just kind of noticing if she's like trying to steal anything or if she's like trying uh, to do anything stupid. She's getting handsy, getting, grabbing Rocco's ass. <laughs> That's why I'm like concerned because... I would say yeah. if you want, while he's out and about on the dance floor, you can keep an eye to make sure she doesn't steal or stab him. But so far, nothing besides sexual is occurring. Mm, insight check for her <laughs> as well. Um, I I guess there's not really much I can do with the insight. I was going to say, not really much, you're not talking to her, nor are you getting her like, yeah, personality. Fair. So I guess you can see she <laughs> definitely appears into Rocco. Mm. <laughs> I don't trust this woman. I know. It's strange that someone wants to fuck Rocco. <laughs> <laughs> Rocco, on the other hand, someone wants to fuck you. <laughs> so she she said I deserve a reward. I'm gonna say. Uh, so uh, how about you buy me a drink? How about I buy us a room? <laughs> I walk over and I. Put my oh, hand on his shoulder. Oh, 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 oh. How about we go find our friend Corvus? He's been gone too long. Ah, uh, sorry. Scream wings to the town. I'm gonna say, huh? I guess duty calls. Uh, maybe I'll see you around though. Give her but, a wink. She wings back at you. Don't. Both I'll give you boys five can minutes. Come back later. Well. I'll just tell Rocco, I'll give you five minutes, I'll be outside. Do whatever you need to do. <laughs> Say, I'll need a lot longer than five minutes. We'll, we'll meet back later. She, goes, she grabs Rocco the moment you say that and says, give us ten, and starts pulling you away, Rocco. <laughs> uh, you cut off again. She grabs Rocco by the forearm and goes, give us ten, winks at you, Rocco, and starts pulling you towards the back. Seven is all you're getting. <laughs> Damn it, Discord. Okay. okay. Discord, oh, really Discord does cool. not want Walker to have some fun. Yeah, yeah. What's Discord's good? really being family friendly right now. It is. So, Rocco, you specifically, arm, forearm, grabbed, right? You hear that? Yes. <laughs> yes, okay. So, your forearm <laughs> is grabbed. She winks to Amleth. Amleth. She says to you specifically, uh, give us 10 minutes, and then starts pulling Rocco to the back. Seven minutes. That's all you're getting. Deal. I say, I say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I really need to go see, uh, you know, we're missing our third. Give we, me a we wisdom saving to... throw. Only you, Rocco. Oh, God. <laughs> 
Is there any way I can convince advantage on this? Because uh, Rocco has no interest in dating after losing his wife. Oh, who says she's going to date you? But sure. Anything like that, <laughs> really. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> Uh, 14. If that doesn't work, I'll use one of my, um, sorcery points. No, if it's, it, it meets, it beats. So, um, she smiles, lets go, and goes, okay, I'll miss you. She puts her hand on your, 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 uh, your chest. Come back soon, alright? I'm excited. And she gives a wink. Uh, I, I I wink back at her as uh, I I grab Amleth and hurriedly uh, run out of the run out of the tavern. As you guys leave out the tavern, um, Nail's like, "Damn, man, Jesus, that was uh, 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 much." <laughs> she was uh. I guess I gotta calm it down. Don't realize how much uh, how much of an effect I have on the ladies. I was gonna say, insert meme. I am aware of the effect I have on women. <laughs> yeah. I, I I say to Rocco, I think you need to kind of watch out for and control is a little bit of your drinking. Uh, I guess so. Uh, I think it's for the best that we don't come back here for the rest of our stay. I'm. Uh... Yeah, I'd like to avoid her if possible. Look, I understand you're a little reserved. And this is just coming from me. Trust me. You gotta enjoy what you gotta enjoy. Alright? Chains are chains for a reason. Nails, you know? in one of the more inappropriate comments you could make, says to get over one woman, you gotta get under another. Cut out again. Son of a <laughs> bitch! We're just a fuck you today. Nails says, um, <laughs> fucking hell. To get over one woman, you have to get under another. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be following Cobalt right now? Get the fuck I out do. of here. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I oh do. my god, you're oh, right. Man. He is. Never mind. Nails doesn't say shit. Nails isn't a sexist <laughs> motherfucker, never mind. <laughs> Damn it, you're right. I was gonna have you guys correct the sexist imp. Never mind. You you guys get to smack it smack him later. <laughs> Just shoot him off. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Alright, uh yeah, he is chasing cobalt, you're right. Um Alright, do you guys start heading to the ship then? Uh, yeah, as we walk, I'm going to say to him, with, you know, I'm just going to be like, you know, I'm just, I'm just not ready to move on yet, especially since um, the reason why Miri died was was mostly my fault too. Hmm. Well, if it's any consolation, I did burn down most of my village. <laughs> so, as far as fault goes, I understand. Well, maybe you can help me burn something down next time we go to the capital. I just love that. Glad you're, he's like, I, I lost my wife because I made a mistake. And you're like, I burned my entire fucking village to the ground. <laughs> Definitely very similar. <laughs> but, absolutely. I'll help you out however I can. And don't go running off on me again. Still mad about that. Uh, I had to try something out. Yeah, but like, you know, I could have helped you. You know, just, we could have. You are matter. very upset about this. What's going on? Look, I just, I just, uh, uh, I really want to. I have someone that I want to kill in the capital, and I was hoping I'd get my opportunity, and then you disappeared in the middle of the night. Um, you know, and it's fine, you know, you had things to deal with, but come on, man, I'm here for you, you know? Uh, I'm happy to help you with whatever. Ah, okay, I see. Well, well, how about this? 
as soon as we're done with this mission, we'll head to the capital. We'll talk to uh, Salazar and see if we can somehow get a mission going all the way over there. Now, who in this capital are you trying to kill? So, um, you have that mansion, right? Yeah. We're going to have to send my family over there to, to keep them protected. But um, there's this, uh, his name is Lilipat. Uh, I kind of have a little bit of a problem with gambling. Um, ended up uh, getting a rather large debt with him. And um, he sent some men to my house um, to collect. And uh, that's when they killed my wife. Uh, well, doesn't sound like it's your fault so far. Well, maybe if I hadn't gambled so fucking much. Mm. Your guilt is misplaced. People well, tend not to have control sometimes. And there is no such thing as control. All there yeah. is is what you can do to make it up. In any event, I would really like to um, kill Lilipat and as many of these Hell's Children as possible and burn down their fighting pits and anything else they might own. Well, we'll get to there. But right now, we got to focus on this. All right, get your head. That's true. That's true. But uh, yeah, let's let's stay away from that tavern, though. For, for yeah. real. Sounds good. I was muted this entire time. Um, I, I, God damn it! You were muted on Twitch. I'm not, not this entire time. Sorry, right now, this last like ten seconds, I was talking and nothing was heard. Uh, no, I heard it. Were you talking about the mayor? Wait, how did you hear that? Yeah, I heard that too. Yeah. Wait, my mic was. Are muted. you talking oh. about? Wait, are you talking about Twitch or Discord? Might have been. Twitch then, Jesus, it might have been Twitch. Yeah, we, then. yeah, we could all hear you on Discord. Oh, okay, never mind then. Okay, so you do hear him. He taps the um, so the mayor comes out from the uh, the end building there for 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 Twitch. The mayor came out from a building, um, and taps it and goes, Ah, I said I was gonna get you guys a place to stay, and here you are. Uh, this this building is called the Sleepy Sheepy. Hmm. Please, uh... Question. Yes. Yes, yes. Have you seen our friend? Oh, yes. I, well, I, I was going to go uh, help him look around, and he said he was going to the ship. So, he, he went to the ship. That's crashed. He went towards the beach. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, towards the north end, yes. Oh. Yeah, Please I'm gonna... Please scream. As you guys start yeah. walking by him and towards the ship, cut right back to Corvus. Corvus, you are underwater. <laughs> um, what would you like to do? You're still in the captain's quarters, but you... I just got fucking jump scared. You did. You There's nothing around you. You have technically three corpses that you know the location of. Outside the captain's quarters in the hallway and uh, amongst the other rooms... I will say, I forgot to mention, you do see entrance to two other rooms um, along the hallway as well. Uh, along with the two corpses and then the eye that is no longer there. God, that thing. Fuck. I hope I can't get this chest through the window. So I have to go through the hallway. Fuck. Or just leave the no. chest? No, because there's definitely information. Because someone does not just kill themselves without telling why they kill themselves. Fucking Lovecrafty and whole bullshit. Yeah. (laughs) 
not get fucked with in that one. So uh, what would you like to do, Corvus? Would you like to exit the into the hallway? Yeah. Open yeah. door into the hallway. Nothing is there. You look left and right. There are equivalent of four doors, and on the edge end of the hallway, you see what looks to be the first mast, not the one that went through the other building, but the one that's still there. Is uh, the only thing blocking the bottom half uh, opening. So the opening at the bottom half, we're actually torn half. Um, it's mostly open, but it's being blocked by the mast. Uh, you could either try to break the mast or squeeze through. Oh, as I mean, as I said, so I probably won't be able to squeeze that through. True. I'm actually going to investigate the bodies first. Okay. So you go to the bodies. They're two, uh, sailors. A... Half, uh, no, half, uh, a lizard folk and a tabaxi. It looks like they were having a, a drink. And the tabaxi appears to be holding his throat while the lizard folk has a giant cut mark along his, uh, abdomen. It looks like maybe the tabaxi was drowned while the lizard folk, who you know can breathe underwater, um, was attacked. How does the cut look like? Like, was it made out, made by a weapon or something natural? Natural. Fuck. Dang, with a fucking Kraken. Oh, God. I'm going to, you know, forgo the doors for now. Until whatever the th that's the thing that is here is dead, then I can fucking loot this place. Uh, going to go over to the mass and try to break it, since I can't squeeze through with the, the chest. Okay, give me a strength check with disadvantage. Ouch. That's a that one. You slam your foot into the mast, and... What at first was a mere, like, oof, my foot, ow, nothing happened, then turns into a bigger oof. You were not pushing the mast out of the way. You ended up now accidentally shifting the ship a little bit. So the ship is now 10 degrees to the right. You get slightly um, noise made as uh from the ship as it creaks and moans as the whole thing gets slightly deeper underwater the entrance becomes slightly more obscured in sand and deeper into the sand fuck i really want that chest it has papers that might be useful for knowledge okay let's do this again all right go ahead Why did I double the world? That makes no sense. Okay, so... It's safe. 12. You're able to... Okay. With the... okay that, that, that... I don't know why I did that. That's okay. Um, it's not the most effective uh, strength check, but you do shift the mast most of the way. Alright, so enough to get the chest through? Yes, enough to get the chest through. Nothing to get is that you could not get two bodies through, but you could eat yourself and then pull the chest through. Alright, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> As you turn back around to the hallway, there is a fish there, and it swims by. Fuck you! Fuck you. This is not Subnautica. Don't do this to me. Help me, Corvus. Shut the fuck up, Elizy Walker. You goddamn foey. <laughs> As you, uh... Um... He instinctively knows what he did. <laughs> oh, God. As you 
go through the, the boat heading back to the captain's ship all of a sudden from beneath you the boards break as the hand comes out and grabs you hey a zombified what? hand oh it's a zombie all right that's undead fuck off and i'm going to stab it you pull out your sword, cutting off the hand immediately. As you do, all around you, hands start coming out. Corvus, give me a dex save to not get grabbed and pulled. Cool, I'm going to try to get on the wall if I can do this. Alright. Easy, you can, especially being underwater, you're able to pull yourself up using portholes and um, decorations on the side of the, the, the wall, like a uh, rope, etc. In fact, the rope there is kind of there as like a, a uh, balance beam in a way uh, on the side of the wall. So you're able to kind of like balance yourself on top of it, standing, shimmying along the wall. As you see, multiple hands, it looks like the old crew have um, been raised from the bottom of the ship and are trying to pull you down into it. You see now all the rest of the crew that you did not see are on the bottom of the ship. Underneath you just hear moaning and groaning as you see what looks to be that eye appear and disappear again. Fuck off you Eldritch whore. You make your, your way back to the captain's uh, area. There's no nothing popping through its floors. You grab the chest and go ahead and um, give me another dex sa uh, check this time. No save, just a check. If you want to go ahead and bring the chest back over without going over the hands. I mean, I can just walk on walls like it's a floor. You're right, you are spider I have spy Yeah! You, you can just walk, so never mind. Fuck that. You jump <laughs> over and you Fuck walk yo. over. <laughs> Damn it. Oh... <laughs> uh... As you're walking uh, through, I will say, you do look down, and you can now see that it's a, um, that all the boards have been restored. There is no hands peeking through now. Fuck! It's just fuck. What the fuck is going on here? This time... As you enter the hallway, it's like the, the the office exits into the hallway. You're a 30-foot run or swim with the chest to the exit. On the other side, you now see it. Let me go ahead and pull up the uh, an image for you. I forgot to download it. Let me do D&D. &D. Um... I called it. It was a Kraken. Not a crack. It goes by a specific name. Where is it? Uh, it's a sea serpent. Hey, I said don't Sonata me. <laughs> I had this planned already. Okay? I don't want to I had this with a goddamn Leviathan. Planned already. This a miniature Leviathan. Its head, the size of the entire hallway, eyes open. Starts crashing down, burr, 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 down the hallway. Would you like to run, Corvus? Yes. You swim and run, barely making it through the the uh, the thing as the the, the crevice as it gets caught on the mast that you moved. Get fucked, you bitch! Fuck. And I'm going to get the fuck out of the water then. Yep, re-exiting onto the shoreline, uh, to the side of the ship, you see that the illusions of Amleth and Rocco are gone, and it is um, just a single... Not single, uh, a, a, a pair. A pair of corpses. I'm about to say a single pair, then I was like, that doesn't make sense, I'll just say a pair. Uh, a pair of corpses uh, that were standing in their places, clinking drinks together. Looks like ex-sailors. Fucking thing has necromancy. Or some sort of way to control corpses. Fuck. 
I'm going to get as far as way as the water, from the water as I can, and then I'm going to open the chest. See what the fuck is going on? Why is there a seed open here? As you open that chest, Yar, Yar, Har, and Omleth. Corvus, won't you come and help me? I say, Corvus, uh, Rocco, and Omleth, come on up. Let me go from stealth water music to now just normal ocean side music. Um, we'll just do this. Now, as you guys are there, you're all gathered around Corvus on the ground, wet as fuck. What would you guys like to say? You you see Corvus on the ground. Corvus is actually Amleth and Rocco this time. Man, Corvus, you look like you've seen a ghost. I mean, yeah, they're I, kidding. I probably did see a ghost without a ghost, but yeah. Hey, guess what's in the water? Hmm. A fucking sea serpent. Really? Fucking thing saved me. Ugh. It saved you. It saved, not save, save, saved me. Chased. Oh, I see. I gotcha. Yeah, I was getting chased today too. Fuck you, goddamn fully. I guess I did the chasing. Inside the chest, right. you feel a bit of movement, Corvus. I'm sorry. What? A bit of movement. What the fuck? Corvus, what was that noise? I don't fucking know. This thing, when I look into it, briefly has papers in it. Like Are, you you back sure? up? Are you sure you're not carrying a mimic? God, I hope not. If I saw him, going to tame it as a pet. Uh... Kindly put it down. No, you're not stabbing my mimic. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> stabbing my mimic. Fuck you. I'm going to open the what? chest since I know it's not a mimic. Yeah, there is right, a paper. Uh, several gems equaling about 350 gold. My, since I fucking did that. Yep, uh, there are the topazes, etc. Uh, emeralds, some very nice gems. Um, then, at the very bottom, Shivering is a water pixie. A what? A water pixie. Is there by any chance a diamond worth 500 gold in there? Uh, no. Together, they all equal about 350. The three gems. Damn. Uh... I gotta go hit a shop later. Just, uh, just... Here, she looks a little bit like this. Let me let me send you guys this image. She looks a wee bit like that. There we go. Say it's not. Make it say pixie. I don't. She looks up at you. Oh, hi. Hello there. Uh. You 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 saved me. Um, yeah, I guess so. What, she, the, what were you doing in here? Floats on up. Um, I I was traveling with the ship. I was their good luck charm. And and then the, the wyvern it, it attacked us. And it then then I heard a voice in, in my head tell me that we were, we were fish food. And, and then all of a sudden everyone, all my friends were to be eaten. And then the captain shoved me in the chest. And, and, and then I heard a gunshot. And that's all I heard. And I've been I've been lost in there for a while. Huh. So, okay. I, the life on attack you, that messes up what we were told. Why is there a sea serpent around here? Oh, that's just like Um like local, I guess. Like it's not it, how big was the serpent? Was it like a like a giant one? Like a ship size or how big was it? It was just the size of a hallway. Like, I would say bigger, big enough to scare you, but not exactly like ship um, destroying. That's that's big as a, that hallway I went down. Oh, so yeah, it's it, it's probably just a local sea serpent that was like trying to feed on the corpses. 
I'm gonna do an insight check yeah, while they're talking. Insight check, because yeah. that thing did not. Well, do... well, I think she's telling the truth, considering I just rolled a five. Actually, I would say with a five, you think she's lying. Oh, you get the opposite. She's telling the truth. All right. Well, I'm just gonna. Oh, do a nice you? little whistle and get my wasp needles to wrap around her. Wait, ah, ah! She falls to the ground and gets all, like, sandy. Hey, what are you doing? I, I mean, just... that was kind of not needed. I mean, she's a pixie. What can she actually do to us? That's all the more reason to tie her up in case she tries to run. Well, I don't think she's going to run since there's not a lot of places you can run to and hide. That's yeah. there's a lot of places you can hide. Just I just everyone else did. Rocco, would you like to do an insight check, by the way? No. I'm going to use my tactical assessment maneuver. Okay, go ahead. Just not feeling very threatened by a pixie. That's Valid. all. A twelve? Yeah, you yeah. you can you can see that she means it. Unlike uh unlike Almuth, you, you get the vibe that she means it. And at least she's not lying. Mm. I do a little whistle she, and I let the wash me open. What does he actually the do without getting squashed by a cat? The captain had this, and I'm going to pull out the footlock. Hmm. I have never seen this before, so. I snap my fingers and the wasp needles go away. Oh, thank you. Uh, pl please, she she uh, floats up to you, Alma. I, I really am not trying to hurt anyone, I promise. Is she like uh, the size of nails? Oh, smaller than nails. She's the size of like literally your finger. Like size of your palm. Yeah, like you could crush her in your hand. Tiny little thing. It's a pixie. What else do you expect? Yeah. She's like, please, I, I, I really... Like, I hope I didn't scare you at all, Corv. Uh, Corv. I thought, uh, my, my, I, when I got scared, my magic might have gone a little crazy. So maybe you might have seen some illusions. <laughs> so that was you that's doing those that bullshit. Not on purpose. I, th I think my magic might have been going a little, little wacky wild because I was scared. Well, that's a necromancy bullshit. I haven't seen a pixie do that before. Necromancy? I just do illusions. Co there's two corpses currently clinging the cups together right now. At least as far as I know. Oh, they're not like animated clinking. They're like set uh, up that way. Sorry if uh, I, I misspoke. They're like set up almost like a set <laughs> Oh, then they know. Uh, yeah, illusion. yeah. So goes, uh, out of character, well, how did they know uh, your name? Yeah, is it, what I, mean, I and Amleth looked like. That's weird. Wait, so it was oh. you who did those illusions? Well, not not me exactly. Uh, I, I'm Fey, so when we get scared, our our magic is controlled by our emotions. So when we, I got scared, it made like a bubble of magic that, um, how fey magic works, it goes to your, um, like your subconscious. So if, if, you know, say something was close to you, it would mess with you. Now that's an insight check if I ever hold one. Yeah, go ahead. She continues, uh, while you insight check, she continues to explain. It's kind of like, uh, chaos magic. It's like a bubble of it. She's a hundred percent telling the truth, Corvus. Uh, at least I would explain what I saw Amleth and Walker. Yeah, but but I'm worried because if if I heard a voice in my head, that means it might have been like the wyvern or something. Do, do you think it's gonna come for me? I doubt it. I mean, they probably think you along with the crew are dead. I mean, the crew is dead. Well, it did say we were fish food and laughed. Maybe, I guess it, maybe it was trying to feed us to, like, the little serpents. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. And she goes, goes up to the water. You see she takes a little wand, taps it, pulls it up. You see she looks at a little drop that hangs on the tip of her wand. Um, okay, well, there is, uh, there is a leviathan in the water, but it's, like, I don't know, 
40 miles to the north into the ocean. But yeah, you're definitely dealing with his babies. So I think they're trying to feed his babies. Oh god, oh Leviathan. Yeah, Do but... Leviathan have the ability to speak telepathically? Um, maybe. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I, n I have never done an actual sea-based job before now. I mean, to be I, honest, I, I it mean, might I be a good idea to try on that. I don't know if that might be able to do, do that, but those things are absent, and you don't fuck with them. Yeah, yeah, no, like, this is like a, a, uh, a young adult Leviathan. She's a bit cranky. I'm going to actually look into the papers now. Yeah, yeah. So you see that this um, ship had been sailing for six months from uh, the Corabia, a kind of east, uh, east, southeast kind of uh, trading post, and had gone around the continent specifically to trade with uh, this port of Kielp. And Kielp... Um, while it was prosperous, was like the trading port to go get like a really good exotic materials, etc. Uh, so you think that this pixie might and the ship might actually be from the southern um, borders. And besides that, let's see, sh the pixie is actually mentioned in the captain's logs. They picked her up as a good luck charm. Uh, along with one of the passengers, a passenger by the name of uh, Stanthus. Stanthus was a bandit at sea, uh, claims that he is a wizard who used to work for the Royal Navy, um, blah, blah, blah. This pixie apparently is his familiar. Um, from the description of Stanthus, you think he's one of the corpses that are currently set up um, Corvus. Uh drinking like a macabre uh, celebration is uh i turn to the pixie and i go is your stanthesis a uh dragonborn no he was uh uh a triton he like a wizard all right so he, he definitely would have died due to drowning he got murdered by that serpent uh, yeah, well, peeking back one. into the little ship that's above ground, you can see that amongst the uh, the pile of the corpses stuck to the side, uh, you do pick out a few tritons, several with like missing limbs, eyes, etc. <sighs> Poor hit Tithis. Well, um. Oh, by the way, she points to the the journal. Uh, right here, hold on, uh, the captain told me, ah, here, uh, I was talking to the captain, and he wanted my opinion on something, so maybe you guys might like it, um, she points exactly one page over, there is a sketch of what looks to be, um, like the sky, with what looks to be maybe a draconic outline of it, I think this is what he saw as he was coming into port, um, I think it might have been the wyvern before I attacked us. I mean, we did see that and where were you when he showed you this? Um, let me see. To the east, that way, and she points to the right, down the, the beach. It, uh, we, it, it circled around and went inside like a, a, uh, like a cove. Hmm. Yeah, I think like maybe down the beach, it might be living in a cove. It was like circling us, and he was asking if I happen to know about any sea dragons. I didn't, and then it attacked us. Mm. So at least now we know who that wave one is. Yeah, that's true. Also, the we problem, also if it's a cove, and could see what it did and said. Most likely said, it could be allied with a sea serpent. <gasps> she gasped. Well, Do I you we... think it's the sea serpent? Because we haven't. Have you guys talked to any of the other like ships or pirates or ship owners yet? Not yet. Mm, not yet. 
Oh, oh, she gets excited. That means we might be able to find out if they've been attacked by anything in the water lately. Well, I actually might have an idea. I could probably just read its mind and see where it's been. Huh? I mean, that, that could work. At the same time, it is a soapin, the sea soapin, so... And yeah, and I'm it's just like, going to lift my... She, like, points yeah. out to the water. It's, like, 40 miles that way. Right, I'm talking about the kid. Oh. That's all she just says. Because if we... Oh. If we kill the, you know child of this serpent it's going to come back to haunt us and this town yeah that definitely would piss off its mother so instead of you know doing that we're going to sh well let me just show you and I lift my eye patch to the pixie Azazel comes out hello beautiful he grabs the pixie you are adorable you look at you you're like a little toy <laughs> She's like, please put me down. Uh, he like flings her up in the air. She's like, whoa, whoa, like balances herself. Huh, who this, who's this guy? Well, you may or may not know. His name's Azazel. Does it ring a bell? No. Huh. Well, he is an acquaintance of ours. More specifically me. He is uh, going to help us with this wyvern situation and uh, basically kind of Shortening the long ass story, he's a very old god slash dead god. So now he lives up here. Ah, uh, not gonna be dead for long, pixie boy. As he slaps uh, the pixie, uh, or slaps you on the shoulder, looking at the pixie. Um, one day I'll be coming back. Don't you worry, and I'll be coming back to say hello to your cute, adorable little self. He pinches her cheeks mm. a little too hard. Well, anyways, um, what can he do? Is he a ghost? A spirit? He's more of an astral kind of projection. But there are some benefits to him, considering he's a god. So he's able to enter minds, kind of, and see memories, moreover, and, you know, get information from there. We've been practicing. It's more of a practice run. We haven't really been working together too long. So, I if we see. can do it on a dragonborn, then I'm sure that we can do it on a nice little tiny snake. I see, I see. Well, I mean, good luck trying. Isaiah was like, shall I? Well, we gotta find the snake first before anything. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, I could do that. Hold on. And she goes and uh, taps to water again. Looks at the little drop at the tip of her wand. Mm. Corvus uh, spooped it away for a minute, but it looks like it's coming back towards the other side of the ship, uh, feeding on the corpse again. All right. Um. So, you guys want to help me at least keep this thing under control if things go sideways? So. How big is <clears throat> how big is the serpent? Well, like I said, it's about a, a holly size, so about what thirty feet. Oh, that's not that bad. No, not like not terribly long. It's like a, an extra large eel. You keep cutting out. Yeah, sorry, dude. It's like an extra yeah. large eel. Yeah. yeah. Uh, would it be considered huge? I don't know. I would, I would argue it's, a large, a little... it's definitely yeah. a large creature, yeah, like, no matter how you think. Large? Exactly. I don't think huge, no. No, huge would be its mother. Yeah, it would be its mother. That, that would be massive. Yeah, ma I believe the huge category would fit specifically, uh, like, it would be something that you could see her get out of the water 40 miles away. Kind of thing. You know. I'm gonna arc five hands away and see it. So sorry, what was that, Rocco? I'm gonna arcane hand this bitch when we get closer. Okay. So as you guys walk uh, around the beach, trying to get a good sight, you finally see it coming along 
the right side of the ship. It looks like it's trying to just weave around looking for corpses uh, amongst the water. It's now within about, I would say, 20 feet of you, at least. Alright. Rocco, do you want to do your thing? Yeah, I use my uh, ring to cast Arcane Hand. Um, and then I want to use uh, Grasping Hand on it. Alright. At first, you like grab it, centering yourself on it. And it starts trying to whip itself around. And since Grasping Hand is like a a better version of magic hand it doesn't still have like your actual strength level but that doesn't matter as grasping hand has more of your strength level as it comes up and pulls the serpent out of the water you now see the long about 20 25 foot long serpent sharp gnashing teeth that almost ate corvus under the water <laughs> all right keep us steady Azazel, do your thing. Uh, indeed. He walks over the water like Jesus and slaps that fish in the face. And as he slaps it, he soaks himself into the fish. Whoop! Alrighty. And after a moment of no nothing, it, and the fish just moving, its eyes go green. The fish turns to you like a talking fish now. If I only know and only know... Well, I got to go. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just saying. How's it going, guys? You're good. You're an idiot. I want to shake him a little bit. Ah, stop it. This Give him a devilish right. grin. Very seasick. All right. Now, see if there's anything about a wyvern helping it out. Uh, well, let's see. It's a sea serpent. It's non-intelligent, and the only thing it's telling me is food. You cut out. Uh, it's a non-intelligent animal, so the only thing it's saying repeatedly is uh -huh. food, food, food. Huh. So, it wants no memories? You. No memories. Uh, I mean, it has a memory of it swimming. Alright, come on out. That pops out, the fish is wriggling again. Well, might as well just toss this in the other direction. You think its meat is worth anything? Uh, like, honestly, like, it might be the scales that might be worth something. It might be worth a lot, but remember, mother. Yeah, the mom's gonna be pissed, though. I mean, if so. this thing's unintelligent, wouldn't the mom be unintelligent? This thing's a uh, Well, I mean, animals are animals, and that thing was looking to fucking kill and feed, so... I'm assuming that the mom is not that di much different. I look to the uh, pixie. What do you think? Uh, well, leviathans do get smarter as they get older, uh, enough to keep track of his broodlings, but not not enough to be like, like they can communicate minorly. Some some leviathans know Aqui and and common, but um. They're more just like they they can keep track of the broodlings. I doubt it knows its exact location. Or if it knows that you guys killed it, but it would know its broodling is here. And so it might bring its broodlings and the leviathan here. Mm. Or Sorry, it may I'm... scare them off completely, where none of the other broodlings want to come here, and the leviathan tells them not to come here. I'm going to eat the fish like a football. Oh, bye fishy! The pixie waves. But how far did he chuck the fish? Uh, it's just with the grasping hand, so about 20 feet. Yeah, that, that is like, if it was much farther, I was saying, I'm going to go investigate the underwater part. But yeah, no, fuck that, I ain't coming into the water. Yeah, no, it's it's yeah. still very much right nearby. It immediately goes and just grabs um one of the corpses that was near the shore and just drags it into the water. Mm -hmm. Well, at least the mayor of the town should at least know about this so then they can take care of them themselves. I uh, turn to the pixie and I begin speaking Sylvan and I say, uh, what do you need us to do to help you? What are you? Where are you planning to go? Looking surprised that you spoke in Sylvan, she replies in such. Um, and a very... Uh, so you two only hear um, what would sound like Rocco doing clicks with his tongue, but the pixie sounds like she 
no longer is speaking, but she has bells for a voice. Like, ting, tong. Uh, you you would know, Rocco, that this is Syl uh, Sylvan. Um, ding, dong, she says. Uh, but to you, Rocco, you hear, Oh, well, I was going to just explore the world, but I guess she points to the ship. That's no good anymore. Um, I would like to maybe accompany you guys while I figure stuff out, but I might just head back to where I'm from, uh, the, the, the waste of the tiger lily. I'm actually from an oasis initially, and um, uh, near near the edge of the desert, and that's where they picked me up. Mm. And that's all the way across the ocean. Across the continent, yeah, and then the ocean, and then maybe maybe I might be able to sneak upon the the, the that this new thing that they have. Um, there's there's these people called the Artasafars, and they they made this thing called a trin. And the Trin apparently travels. Hmm. Wait, the Trin? Yeah, a Trin. What, a, what is that? It's like a long metal tube that goes really quick on these, like... They call them rails? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, yeah it's made by the Artisifers. Artisifers? Oh, is that what they're called? Artisifers. Yeah, those guys, like with the little goggles and stuff. Yeah. And, and then they, they make the Trin, or the Trahin. Well, in any event, I'm still speaking to Sylvan. Um, I have a soft spot for the Fae, and... Um, if there's anything I can do to help you, I will do my best. I don't think I can take you back to the desert, though. I think that's way too far out of the way. Oh, that's that's understandable. How about this? I just accompany you guys for now. I keep you guys company, help you guys with the, the seaside stuff. And then um, either maybe if you guys have something you guys can offer me, I might stay. But if not, I'll just head back on my own. I missed the last part of that. Oh, uh, if you guys want to offer or have anything to offer me, I, I might reconsider other things. But for now, like if you guys, you know, if you guys don't have anything to offer, um, or if there's nothing here, I'll, I can just go on my own. I can fly. Uh, well, actually, before you go, I do have a question. What would you say you're good at? Like you uh, excel in, especially magic. Let's see, Fey magic. I'm a Fey. Uh, the water, um, humor. I'm very funny. Um, I'm really good at comforting, and making tea. Um, Say a joke. I... Traveling. I'm really fast. Oh, and I can do this. And she opens a fucking portal in front of your eyes and travels like ten feet across. I can do that pretty much anywhere. She opens what? A portal. Yeah. Oh. Where uh, let's where... go. Uh, it opens 10 feet away from you guys, and it's another portal. And she exits and enters 10 feet away. Huh. I actually am a little curious. Oh, How would you like a job? Goodness. Oh, mm, what would I do? Besides, well, you like, would be... No, caretaking and helping, like... We're bounty hunters. Well, we're bounty hunters. Oh. But I'm thinking of a different job, actually. Okay. And, and before I get to the details, do you know anything about these runes? She looks I just, at, like, yeah. show her my neck. Yeah, she looks at your neck, and she goes like, Nope. What's a bounty hunter, by the way? Yeah, no. Alright, uh, well, I actually have a mansion down a little ways away um, that you'd be able to stay at and work there if you want. Hmm. I think we're better off having her with us. I mean, I'd like some nice tea when uh, we're not doing anything. You know what? Yeah, might be a little bit more out. Yeah. Those portals, too? We could just go through walls, you know? Ooh, that's a good point. That is definitely good. I might check it you know out. What? I might If there's a good fairy tree there, I could set up a fairy tree and so fairies could come by. All right, then I guess that leaves one question. How do you feel about blood? Oh, disgusting. I hate death. It's scary. It makes sense why a Faye would not like 
undead. And, and like, yeah, undeath, uh, death, uh, blood scares me. It makes me faint repeatedly. Oh, dear. Well, I'll just explain what a bounty hunter is to you. We are hired to kill things. Oh. oh find things. Oh. Oh. We kill bad things, though, like the wyvern. That's actually why we're here, to kill the wyvern. Yes. I mean, you oh. guys all, typically. Interesting. Well. Hmm. She puts her hands on her her chin. I don't know if I want to help you guys like murder, but if you want to help, if you want to look for stuff or or save people, I'm happy to do that. I just I I I'm not comfortable helping with the murder part. But if you, I'm okay if you guys do. I don't care what you do. I just you know if 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 any plans happen to do with murder, I I, I don't I don't want to get I don't want to see any blood. Yeah, I think my little side business might be a better suit for you. No, please, please do, yeah. Uh, in that case, what I'll do is I, I'll hang out with you guys, and I'll see how far stuff away is. If not, I'll set up a little base with a fairy tree at your place, so that if uh, if it really is too far, I can always come back and take safe haven. Thank you. Mm. She gives you a tiny little hug. It's a tiny, like, her her wingspan of her arms, not not her actual wings, but the actual, like, like her arm span, it's like... The equivalent of, like, a puppy. Like, you just got hugged by a kitten, basically. So she's going back to, uh, to the mansion? Oh, I'll, I'll help you guys here for now. Um, well, uh, while I get stuff ready. But then, yeah, I'll head to the mansion maybe later tonight. Hmm. Well. Is Healthcare's health rise yeah. on the way? Uh... Yeah, yeah. If if we're uh, Amleth just pointed on the map, um, yeah, it should be. It, it, it's 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 on the way, uh, a little out of the way, but I can make my way to Helfner's Rise first, and then there if you need something. Uh, how much gold do you think you can carry? Uh, well, you see, that's a trick about us, Fay. We may not be strong, but we are magical. So she holds out a bag, and in the bag you see a literal treasure room from a castle. <laughs> Uh, I don't care about oh. having my own gold. I just steal from the castle every now and then. I don't know whose this is. Huh. Little thief. Oh. That is... What did she steal? It's a portal in her bag that she opens a pocket and only her little hand can fit through because it's really tiny. But she says she claims that she's stealing and she can uh, from a castle. And she opens it and you see very tiny little pinprick. You see a tiny little hoard of gold on the other side. Ooh, money. Uh, can you do that anywhere? Could you, like... Oh, this took a long time to set up. It took, like, a week of me hiding there in the crevices to set this up. But um, I could technically set permanent portals anywhere, yeah. It just takes time. So could you set up a permanent portal to our headquarters? Mm, yeah, it'd take like a week, but I could. I don't but know, man. That, that I also means you be... can't like remove it casually. It'd take like a week to remove, too. So other people could get to your quarters. Could you make it big enough that we could say, after you set it up, uh, get a quick ride home? Mm, well, the thing is, I would have to visually see it. So I would have to leave a portal here, unopened, and then head to your the mansion and then a week later have that man uh, the portal open at the mansion so you would need two portals yeah i don't think that's a bad i don't think that's bad though cuz yeah it would take time but i could technically open it and maybe it would be ready by the time you guys are done here yeah like a week of uh a week to go from portal to portal is a lot less than how long it would take to walk. Yeah. I mean, let me see. Um, I would have to set multiple portals to help make it quicker for me to travel, but I go back and forth, but I could definitely set up a big one, big enough for you guys at your base, and then what I'll do is I can set up a permanent one at your base that I could make it, like, go to anywhere, anywhere in the world. I'll just have to connect it to another portal, and then you guys can go through that portal. But I would have to make that portal there first, of course, you know. 
Basically, consider it like fast travel. Once you're there, I can set it up, but I have to be there first. How many can you do? Uh, let me see. Like, permanently? Like, five at a time, before I had to close one. Currently, she taps her uh, portal bag. I have one open for the treasury. I think we're going to have to, uh... I think we're going to have to keep her with us to, to make going to and fro easy. Ooh, yay, new friends! Oh, but if we're doing business, you must understand. You do business with a fae, we take things very literally. We don't do contracts, we do verbal contracts. So whatever you say, I hold you to it. If you say that, you know, uh, an example, if you say that if you were to double-cross me, it cost your eyes, well then don't double-cross me or you go blind. You understand? You understand uh, the verbal how, contract how, here. Yeah, we're going to have to be careful with this. How about we just be friends? Okay, let's start with friends, and then see uh, You can we can make business contracts later. I like friends! And she gives you a hug, Rocco, and she literally hugs your pinky. It's just adorable. At this point, you hear in the distance, Ah! Fuck! Another tiny thing that we all love and adore. Ah! On fire! Why is he on fire? Nails comes crashing into the ocean. Ah! So we have now a Inferno Familiar and a Fae Familiar. What else do we need? We need Undead and... and <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I guess like a normal one. <laughs> I guess Xena counts as like a normal pet. Yes, he would count. Yeah. Alright, in that case, yeah, you have a normal pet, a fae, and an infernal. So, uh, Nails dragging himself out of the water. Ah! Fuck kobolds! Traps everywhere! I mean, that's kind of the whole thing. I have to be careful when you're underwater, there's a sea serpent nearby. Ah! It drags itself out of the water. Ah, fuck that! Fuck that! Fuck that shit! What's that? Ew! Why do we have a pixie with us? She gasps, like, all, like, her her feelings are hurt. She's offended. <laughs> yeah, she is. Ugh, disgusting pig. Do we have to bring it with us? Yes. Ugh. Oh, God. What's your fucking name anyways? He asks the, uh, the pixie. I don't want to tell you my name. Come on, don't be a dick. Tell me your name. No. Ah, come on, Nails. Tell me your name. No. Take his name. Ah, you're right. Thank you, Nails. I am Nails as well. She's like, you're not Nails. <laughs> I am Nails now. You're not Nails. I'm Nails. And they kind of just go back and forth like that um, a bit. I regret telling her to take the name. <laughs> but she uh, leans to you, Rocco. My actual name is Dewdrop. You may call me Dewey. Uh, oh, well. she whispered that just to you, Rocco, so you, you can feel free to let everyone else know, but she doesn't let Nails know. No, nah, I'm not telling anyone. Yeah. I nod at her. Give her the thumbs up. She just gives a thumbs up. Yep, Nails, and Nails, I swear, kicks the water, sits down in the pouty mood, says, first, I find, uh, a cove, and then I get attacked, and then, and then you bring back, I come back, and there's a fucking pixie. Bullshit. What would you guys like to do? Nails is pouting on the beach, and uh, Dewdrop, or Dewey, is uh, hanging out. She seems very happy just to accompany you guys for now. Mm. I feel like we should go talk to the pirates. Um, I also feel like we should scout out uh, the kobolds. Um... Yeah, I'm with Rocco. All right. And as you guys start walking down the beach, Dales drags himself behind you, his tail leaving a trail in the beach. And Dewdrop chatting things up with you, Rocco and Sylvan, asking how you learned Sylvan, um, if, uh, uh, if you had new fairies from before, etc. And as we do, just because I don't want to take too long for you, uh, Cammy, as you have to get going in a bit, don't you? 
you cut off again. Oh, sorry. So, Cammy, you have to get going in a minute, right? I do, in about 10 minutes, yeah. Yes, okay, good. So, perfect time to end it here as you guys walk down the beach heading towards the pirates. Go. Cool. Yep. Thank cool, you, everybody. Found a, and, um, Go ahead. Well, like, cool, we found a sea serpent that, that saved me. And I got fucking spooked by a pixie. Yes. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not saying shit about being spooked. <laughs> I'm the walker. I'm just going to give a look to the pixie. That's just, you better not say shit. She just <laughs> smiles, and that was me. I am the bard of the uh, bard in the Griffin from Bardic Logs. I am Wolf of Twenty Eight. Thank you very much for watching. If you have been stream, if not, we'll see you guys next time. It, I have been your DM, and this has been my inner demons.